Mike Peden here with Benny Lennox of the Tulsa Shock. Came in mid-season, but uh, you've been here since 2000, so how would you describe your WNBA experience up to this point? I would have to say for me, uh, uh, it's an amazing run for me. I've started here out in Minnesota, so it's good to be back. This will always be a place that I feel comfortable playing. But through all, I think the season uh, uh, has gotten a little bit more competitive, and I've seen it grow, and that's what, that's what we need as far as the WNBA is concerned. Describe the first season to now. You mentioned you played at Minnesota to start your career. What has changed since uh, with Minnesota's culture and the WNBA from 2000 to 2011? Again, I just think it's, it's, it's more competition, more competitive players, and uh, just the league itself has been balanced. You know, we, we've had for several years to where the, the West would rule the East, but yet and still you can see it's kind of a balance. So we got more talent. Uh, a lot of talent is equally spread out through the teams and stuff like that. And so I just think that makes a big deal, a big difference. But uh, overall, I think it's, it's talent and, and good good talent. One of the challenges is for veterans staying relevant in regards to productivity, offense, and so what are some ways you've been able to continue producing for the teams you play for as uh, you're closing in on 4,000 career points? Hey, you know, you just said it, you know, just, just by the experience that I have, uh, just going out and teaching the younger players what I know and uh, teaching them what it, what it takes to win, what it takes to play together and stuff like that. If you don't have a veteran on your team and you got all young players, you won't, they won't ever understand that until two, two or three or four years down the line. But if you've got veterans on the team, it's easy to be able to just pass that along to the uh, young players who are willing to learn, who are willing to, to take that advice and, and display it on the basketball court. And what are some things or perhaps criticisms you've heard when the WNBA first started? Because when you joined, it was still in its infancy stages that you could look back and say, uh, you know, we're still going strong. Think again. Well, first of all, I, I would have to say that, you know, what was said is that we wasn't going to make it. And so right now we can look back and say, well, 15 years later, we made it. And I think that uh, in, in order for us to continue to, to move forward, we got to continue to to play hard, uh, compete game to game, night and night, and just believe in ourselves and believe in our product, what we're doing here. And what would you say about Minnesota now? I mean, you played last played there in 2002. What imprint has, have they made in women's basketball? I think, I think they, they've done really well. Uh, uh, from season to season, they've gotten better. They've had ups and downs, and I think this year they're having a, a, an awesome year, and uh, I'm proud of them. And I just think that, you know, with the, with the different – group of women that they have on the basketball court with the younger group, the younger comp uh, competitive players that they have on this team, I think it's going to take them far. So I just think the whole new look is, is what got them going. And lastly, anyone you want to say hi to that might be watching this interview? Uh, I want to say hi to my mom and my sisters and my brothers and uh, my, my friends and family. Well, thank you, Betty Lennox, and congratulations on an illustrious career. Thank you. Thank you so much.